Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day today, and in this video I'm going to be ranking all of the iconic candy and treats that you would expect to get at Halloween. I'm going to be doing it tier list style, but keep in mind this is just my opinion. Share down below in the comments how you would rank them, what's your favorite, least favorite candy, and without any further ado, let's hop right into the ranking. So I guess we're starting things off pretty strong with 100 grand, that's easily in the S tier, it's just very good. Probably the best chocolate candy bar. It's just the right mixture of ingredients that definitely click. Three Musketeers isn't bad. It's definitely a classic. I'll put that in the A tier. Airheads are criminally underrated. They're in the S tier. One of the best non-chocolate candies for sure. All the flavors are just really good. I don't even know how to explain it. Almond Joy isn't really anything that great. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. Andy's Mints are actually pretty good. I'll put those in the A tier. If you get an apple for Halloween, that's honestly pretty disappointing. Although it does probably give you more nutrition than the actual candy. <laughs> Baby Ruth will probably go in B tier, kind of overrated in my opinion. I have no clue what this thing is, or this. Like, I might have had it, but I just can't really tell from the picture. Butterfingers are actually really good. I'll put them in the A tier. They just have a nice crunch. They're more unique than most other candies. Candy corn is very controversial, but I'll actually put it in the A tier because I personally don't mind it. As a matter of fact, it's just something nice to munch on. I've actually not had the Caramel Apple Milky Way. I did not know that was a thing. Crunch bars go in the A tier for sure. They're pretty good. Dots are super nostalgic. I probably got to put that in the A tier. I'm really not the biggest fan of bubblegum. Like, I'll have it, but I just think it's overrated, especially this kind. Like, it loses its flavor very early on. I have no clue what this is. I legitimately don't think I've had this brand of gummy bears. Heath is okay, I guess. Hershey Kisses and that kind of stuff is actually fine. As for the normal Hershey bar, I don't think it's as bad as Mr. Beast makes it out to be. It's probably not the best quality because it's more cheaply produced, and it just doesn't have too many ingredients. But it's still pretty solid in my opinion, but I actually really like the Cookies and Cream Hershey's. Those are significantly better than the regular. Hot tamales I will eat, but I'm just not the biggest fan of them. Junior mints are actually pretty good. Kit Kats as well are some pretty good quality candy. Hershey's Crackle is fine. Laffy Taffy I guess kind of depends on the flavor. I actually don't think I've had this kind of candy. Fun Dip is legitimately very nostalgic and kind of goaded. It's definitely been a while since I've had it, so I'm not sure if it's actually as good as I remember. It's been a while since I've had Mike and Ike's, but those are like super good. One of the better non-chocolate candies for sure. Milk Duds are actually really good, but they do get stuck in your teeth, which can be annoying. Milky Way for sure goes in the A tier, just another one of those classic candy bars. Of course, how could you not put M&Ms in the A tier as well? I've never had a mound, but I think they're like the same company as Almond Joy. I don't even know what the difference between Mr. Good Bar and Crackle is. I guess Crackle has like rice or something in it. This looks like some sort of off-brand Smarties. I don't think I've had that. I'm actually not the biggest fan of just regular nerds. Now the new thing they're doing with the nerds gummy clusters, that's actually really good. That would probably be A or S tier, but just regular nerds I'm really just not a fan of. I forgot what these are called, but these are criminally underrated. They're pretty much like around airhead levels of good. Payday, I'm not really like the biggest fan of because I don't even know if they have chocolate, so what's the deal there? I think this is peanut M&M's. I guess it's okay. Or maybe this was peanut M&M's. I don't know. There's some sort of M&M's. One's peanut butter, maybe. Let's be completely honest, though. If you get money for Halloween, like... That's honestly a good treat. Maybe a little kid wouldn't be that excited over it. But when finances start becoming part of your life, you need to start going trick-or-treating again just to make sure you could get some of this money. I have no clue what this is. It might be like chocolate-covered raisins or something, but honestly, it's kind of hard to tell. Reese's is another classic that goes in the A tier. Reese's Pieces, same thing along those lines. Pretty much same taste, just different texture. Ring Pops will probably go in the B tier. They're pretty okay. Skittles are definitely a classic candy. I'll have to put them in the A tier. Smarties are probably just going to go in the C tier. Like, I don't think they're as bad as some people make them out to be, but definitely not the best. Of course, Snickers is another one of those classic bars. I legitimately, like, never try the Sour Patch Kids or the Swedish Fish or any, like, that kind of gummy stuff. It just doesn't really, like, interest me. Starburst, I'll probably put, like, at the top of the C tier, kind of along those lines of some of the more generic candies, but, like, not terrible. Then this old person candy, I mean, it's just kind of whatever. I'm pretty sure Sugar Daddy was just designed to get stuck in your teeth. Somehow I never remember having the sweet tarts. If you get a toothbrush, let alone three toothbrushes, that's like not a good thing. I mean, you should brush your teeth, but who would actually use a toothbrush they got from Halloween? Now there's these little like Tootsie things that were not chocolate, and I haven't had them in a long time, but I actually kind of remember liking them a little bit. Suckers are definitely a classic. I mean, the quality can vary, but it's definitely pretty iconic. 
Tootsie Roll is okay, I'll put that in the C tier. I'm pretty sure those aren't actually made out of real chocolate. Twix is definitely one of the more iconic candy bars, another classic, but the real question is, do you prefer left or right Twix? Because apparently there's a pretty big difference. Sour Punch Straws we'll probably put in the B tier. Some of them have a little bit too much like powder and sugar on them, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I mean they're pretty good flavor-wise. I don't remember having Warheads in a while. I mean, I guess they're okay. I'll probably put them in C tier. If you really like sour stuff, that's probably something you'd be interested in. Of course, there's some more old people candy. And then, of course, the Whopper. Not the Whopper from Burger King, but the Whopper candy, which is, like, okay, I guess. Now, the York is pretty much, like, the same thing as, like, a Junior Mint, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure what, like, this stuff is. Like, I've never seen this in my life. Circus Peanuts, it's been a while since I had them, but I actually remember kind of liking them despite how controversial they are. I'll just put them in the C tier. Dove Chocolate is actually, like, really good quality chocolate. I'll probably put that in the A tier. I have not had Fruit Gushers in such a long time, but I'm putting them in the S tier, and that's probably 100% nostalgia bias. Of course, Jelly Belly, like, good quality jelly beans. I have not had those in a while. I just don't feel like anyone actually gives out jelly beans. But that is literally like top tier candy right there. I did not realize I made a Reese's bar, but that actually makes more sense than the cup because like it would just be similar to just normal chocolate bars. Peach rings are actually super good. I'll put them in the A tier. I guess pretzels aren't a bad thing to get at Halloween. I mean, it's a nice little snack. You got to have some salt in there to complement the sugar. Raisins are probably the absolute worst thing you could get at Halloween unless they have like yogurt or chocolate on them, but even then. I don't know what a Take 5 Reese's is. I don't know what's like special about that, but maybe you could let me know in the comments if someone knows. I totally forgot about Sixlets. I don't really remember them being that good. I'll put them in the D tier. Now this candy is very controversial on how it's pronounced. Some people say caramel, some people say caramel, and I'll just say that it goes in the B tier. Krabby Patties, also like super nostalgia biased on this, but I think they're pretty good. It's the same exact thing with these fruit strips. I don't know like what it is with all these candies though. Not sure what a fruit stripe is, that just seems like a ripoff. Fun Dip, I thought I already ranked that, but I guess this is like a different flavor or something, but like it's the same thing. Gobstoppers, I'm not really the biggest fan of. This kind of gum is actually probably good because you can like choose how much you want, but still like I'm not the biggest fan of gum in general. I did not know they made orange Kit Kats. Now Lifesaver Gummies. I think this is the gummies. Those are actually like extremely good. I will put them very high up. And I guess this is the hard lifesavers. Actually also pretty good. I don't think I've had the rest of these. Maybe I've had this, but I mean, I guess it's just okay. But overall, that was my candy tier list for Halloween. Again, share how you would rank them in the comment section down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and happy Halloween.